Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog where once again we're going to be tearing up some cars and turning them to drift cars. As promised on the last vlog, we're going to be installing some aftermarket parts on my buddy's C6 Corvette. Ooh, I hear an LS coming. What's up dude? Hey, what's going on? Where, what brings you into the cave? Uh, we're going to mod this bad boy. What's up, Dwayne? Hi. How you doing? First mod. First mod on the Corvette. What's it going to be? Uh, we're going to install some BC coilovers. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. What do we got here, Dallas? We got my coilovers. Coilovers? Nice. Is that the wheel you're going to be running too? Yeah. Just one? So we just got the car on the lift and I'm already having a hard time with it because the whole car is fiberglass, including the side skirts. And as soon as it starts lifting it, everything starts cracking. And there's no good lift points on this car. But it's all right, that's a drift car, right? So it doesn't really matter if it cracks stuff. Right? Yeah. Right. What's the offset on these wheels, dude? 79. It's a 79? It's a 19 by 10 plus 79. Does that make I'm it like- I'm not even joking. I think the, the bolt face is further out than the edge of the wheel. So this coilover install looks pretty simple. Two bolts up top, one bolt on the bottom. Yeah. Dude, we're gonna be done in no time, dude. First casualty. Yeah, the front looks simple too. One nut on the top, two bolts on the bottom. Man, everything American is easy. We should have gone Corvettes a long time ago, dude. Why were we messing around with these 240s? You see racing. Not too shabby. How much did those run you? Uh, I think they're about 1100 bucks. Not bad. That's, uh, that's actually cheaper than most uh, Japanese cars. I like it's a tiny. Hmm. So that looks like the front. Not on the top, two bolts in the bottom. That's the other front. And the rear. Two bolts on the top, one bolt on the bottom. This is simple. This is this is really simple. But you did say we're gonna take some stuff off of it, right? Yeah. Because uh, the car has leaf springs on it, factory? Like transverse leaf spring. All right, let's lift the car up. Let's take a look at that. All right, so what were you we talking about the bottom? Uh, oh, that's the leaf spring going across yeah. it right here, right? So it has like two pivot points here. Do we need to take that off? I mean, we can have double the spring rate. <laughs> or whatever the hell these are. They're fiberglass. Uh, it should be simple. What about the front? The front has it too, huh? <laughs> All right, so we had to go through the repair instructions and to see how to get this leaf spring out of the way. However, we uh, kind of skipped the process. They were telling us to uh, remove both control arms on both sides. However, when we moved the first control arm, we were able to just maneuver the spring out of there. So. That's pretty much the hardest part about this front, removing this leaf spring. The strut's gonna be just one more bolt on the top and that's gonna be it. And the leaf spring doesn't have to go back inside because uh, we got true coilovers. Yes, true. Yeah. All right, so we got the front coilovers on. We did have to drop the other control arm, unfortunately, uh, to get the uh, actual shock out. But not to lose too much of the alignment, we marked the eccentric bolts that way the alignment's somewhat back in place. It's not gonna be the same, obviously, because the car's gonna sit lower, but at least the caster should be where it was before. It wasn't that hard, two bolts on the bottom, one nut on the top, and then we're removing that whole um, leaf spring. So the rear's in, it was pretty simple. Actually, it was uh, pretty much the same as the front without little bits and pieces here and there. I'm actually pretty certain that these uh, rear knuckles are the same as the front knuckles. At least it 
feels and seems that way. I definitely think that the fronts were harder than the rears, or maybe because we started with the front, so uh, it was a little bit more complicated to figure it out, but they're in. It's a moment of truth. Will the car be lower? Yeah, it's probably just like this. <laughs> It's going down, it's going down, it's going down. You know what? It's higher. It's a good starting point. Break them in, lower it down a little bit. I think you should go do some donuts right there, see how the suspension feels. What do you think? Yes. What do you guys think? Yes. Let's do it. It's the only way to send it, right? control <laughs> he always does this he forgets to turn the traction control off dude he almost sent it into the curb look more controllable actually. I can do smaller circles. Nice. Before it was like, I thought it was only angle limiting. <laughs> All right, you guys, hope you enjoyed this install. I know it's like kind of half because we're just kind of like unbolting things without explaining it, but it's really self-explanatory when you look at it. Hopefully this video helps you guys a little bit. Next weekend, we're going to be doing more mods. What are we going to be doing, Dallas? Uh, we're going to be doing the knuckles. Knuckles. PBM knuckles, 70 degrees of angle. I'll catch you guys later.